Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 7.0.4 on the iPhone 4. Now, as some of you may recall, previously I did create another jailbreak video for the iPhone 4 on iOS 7.0.4. However, as you can tell from my desktop background, I am going to show you guys how to use the same utility I previously demonstrated, Rage Break, on Windows. So before that tutorial was exclusive to OS X, well now today I'm excited to bring you guys my jailbreak tutorial for Windows using the GUI or Graphical User Interface Edition of Rage Break. The developer Rage Master just helped me set up some of the updated files for Rage Break that will go public very soon, so now all of the errors have been worked out of the utility, and I'm here to bring you guys the jailbreak tutorial for it. However, there are some prerequisites that I should mention before we begin. First of all, just note that Rage Break isn't a new utility, so to speak. Essentially, it's based off of WinOCM's Open Snow project, which utilizes GeoHot's old 2010 LimeRain exploit, and as I'm sure some of you are aware, that takes advantage of a hardware-based vulnerability that Apple simply cannot patch without releasing new devices, which obviously they've done since the release of the iPhone 4, and that's why it only functions on the iPhone 4, again, because it is jailbroken through the LimeRain exploit for life, essentially, as long as Apple continues to support it. And that's another thing, too. Rage Break would support other devices except for the fact that Apple has phased out those devices over time with the release of new iOS updates. And now in iOS 7, the last one to remain is of course the iPhone 4. Also keep in mind that because this does use the LimeRain exploit, it is a tethered jailbreak, which means you have to plug your device into your computer via your USB cable and rerun a certain part of RageBreak every time you need to reboot your iPhone. Now before I begin, RageBreak also incorporates an unofficial version of Cydia that's based on Sarik's iOS 6 Cydia. So so again, the version of Cydia that is installed on top of this jailbreak will not be officially supported on the iPhone 4. Again, it's just been updated to support the device on iOS 7 through 7.0.4 in this case. So with that said, once jailbroken, you may encounter errors with the version of Cydia that gets installed on your device through RageBreak. All right, now one last thing before we begin, I'm just going to open up the settings application, go to General about and show you guys that this iPhone 4 is indeed on iOS 7.0.4. As you can see down below for the version, it does confirm that we are running iOS 7.0.4. All right, and with that out of the way, the first thing you're going to need to download for this tutorial is Rage Break. I will have a link to an article down below in the more info on my website that contains complete download links to everything you need to complete this jailbreak tutorial successfully. First and foremost, Rage Break. But the second thing you should download is the latest version of JDK or Java Development Kit. Now you can find it simply by going to Google and searching JDK, clicking on the first available link, from there, you need to accept the license agreement. Once you do that, you'll be able to download it. Now, it's very important that you download the Windows x86 edition of JDK or the Java Development Kit, and that's because you want the 32-bit edition. Even if your computer is 64-bit, again, download JDK for Windows x86 or 32-bit. Now, once you have it downloaded and installed, you can close out of it, and we're going to go ahead and open up Rage Break by right-clicking and then selecting the option to run as administrator. Now, it's very important that you do that to give Rage Break administrator privileges. Now, you will also need the latest version of iTunes installed and .NET Framework. However, most Windows PCs have .NET Framework, even if you're not aware that you do. But if you just want to be on the safe side, all of the other download links are over here to the right. Now, this does recommend installing Java JRE. However, I recommend installing Java JDK as I've had a better success rate. So once you have everything out of the way, you're going to go ahead and click the option up at the top to download files. Once you do that, you're going to need to click OK to the pop-up and it will automatically go out, download all of the open snow files it needs and compile everything. It even gives you a nice green loading bar up at the top. Once that bar is complete, you can go ahead and proceed with the jailbreak. All right, now that it's downloaded everything it needs, it's time to plug your iPhone into your computer via your USB cable and enter DFU mode by holding down both the home and power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. 
Once that 10 seconds is up, you can release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 to 15 seconds to enter DFU mode. Again, keep in mind that DFU mode is simply a black screen. And once you're in DFU mode, you can go ahead and proceed by clicking the second option. So I'm just going to click number two to jailbreak my iPhone 4. Now another pop-up appears saying to click OK when you've entered DFU mode, which we just did, so we can click OK to that. And then it's going to ask you where to extract the jailbreak files. I've already done this, so I'm just going to hit cancel, but in your case, you would click extract. So again, I'm clicking cancel to that, and it should proceed with the jailbreak. I'm also going to bring the Java window over here to show you guys the progress, and I'm going to leave the iPhone 4 up on the screen as well. And I'm not going to cut anything out of this portion of the video just to show you guys approximately how long it should take. All right, and as you can see inside of the Java app, it says it's almost there. We have the restore screen up here on the iPhone 4. That's fine. This is exactly where you want to be. However, you just want to wait for it to finish over here inside of the Java app. All right, now that it's done, we can go ahead and click OK to the pop-up telling us to do so once it's finished. And now it should bring up a CMD or command prompt window, and it should send over a couple of other files that we need once we click OK to this second pop-up that says transferring files to device. And if you do get any security messages during this tutorial, you're just going to click run. I'm going to bring this over just to show you guys what it will do. All right, there we go. Now that that portion of the jailbreak has concluded, you're going to come back over here to this Java window, close out of it, and you can go ahead and click OK to the other pop-up here. And we're going to enter DFU mode again on our iPhone 4. Now remember, you hold down the home and power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. And once that 10 seconds is up, you can release and continue holding the home button. And now that I am successfully in DFU mode, I'm going to select the option that corresponds to my device. Now because I do have an AT&T GSM edition of the iPhone 4, I'm going to select boot for 3,1 and since I'm on iOS 7.0.4, I'm going to select that option. If you have a Verizon CDMI iPhone, you will be boot option 3,3. Unfortunately, this doesn't support the second revision for GSM models yet. If you have one, you will need to follow my OSX tutorial. Now I'm just going to select the option again and I'm going to press OK since we just entered DFU mode. Again, I'm going to click run because I know it's fine. I'm going to bring over this command prompt window and just show you guys my iPhone during this process. And again, I'm not going to cut anything out. It's just going to boot it tethered using the Lime Rain exploit. All right, here we go. We have the classic scrolling text screen. If you get to this stage, you know you're doing it right. And once it completes with this, it should reboot shortly. And then we're going to proceed with the step to install Cydia.
All right, now that it's up, I'm just going to slide to unlock, and now you're going to need the IP address that your iPhone is currently using. So to do so, go inside of the settings application, tap Wi-Fi, followed by the I next to the network you're connected to. And then you should see your IP address listed there, and you're going to need that for this next step, so just be sure to take note of it. Once you have it, you can continue by selecting the fourth option to install Cydia. Again, I'm going to click run to this pop-up, and now it's going to ask for your iPhone's IP address, so enter it now. And once you do, just press return or enter on your keyboard. And now it should send everything to the iPhone wirelessly via SSH, so there's really no reason to leave the phone up on the screen now. It'll appear as though most of the process is actually taking place on your computer. And just be sure to leave it open. It does take some time to get to this stage. Once it does, it will ask you if you want to continue. I'm just going to press Y on my keyboard, followed by return, and it will go through the process of sending everything to my iPhone. And this is another long process too when it says downloading devs. It's downloading all of the packages that it needs to actually place onto the iPhone 4. So again, just be sure to leave this command prompt window open. It's very important that you do and that you don't close out of it at this point. All right, now at this point, it's safe to continue, even though it may say fatal error inside of the window here. All right, and over on the iPhone, it may appear as though you're in recovery mode. Just enter DFU mode by holding down the home and power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds. And once you know you're in DFU mode, you can go ahead and continue by booting your device tethered. So again, just be sure to select which device you have based on the firmware as well. So I'm going to select boot 3 comma 1 for 7.0.4. And now you can go ahead and click OK to the pop-up that asks you to press OK once you're in DFU mode. And it's just going to go ahead and boot the iPhone tethered now, again via the same method as before. And also keep in mind that again, because this is a tethered jailbreak, you will have to plug your device into your computer, enter DFU mode, and then select your boot option for your tethered boot inside of Rage Break every time you need to reboot your iPhone. And now that we're at the scrolling text screen here, it should finish shortly, and I'm going to unlock the device to show you guys that I do have Cydia running on the iPhone 4 on 7.0.4. All right, here we are. I can go ahead and unlock now. I'm going to swipe over and there we go. We have Cydia. I'm going to open it up and let it load. And again, show you guys that Cydia even confirms that I am indeed on 7.0.4 on this particular iPhone 4. I'm also going to select user when it asks me who I am and then tap done. I'm just going to take it off to the side for a second once it loads up, readjust the camera angle, and show you guys a close-up of what Cydia says down below at the bottom. All right, so as you can see, Cydia does confirm that this is an iPhone 4, it's a GSM iPhone 4, running iOS 7.0.4 with Cydia 1.1.8. Plus. And I'm also going to show you guys something else inside of Cydia here really quick. So down below at the bottom, I'm going to go to Manage Packages, and these are all of the packages that Rage Break actually installed during the process when it was transferring the devs over via that SSH method. So again, I'm going to close out of Cydia now, and remember that you need to boot tethered every time you have to reboot your iPhone. All right, so I really hope you guys like this tutorial. Remember, if you're a Mac user, just be sure to follow my tutorial for OS. 
SX. Also, if you guys want a chance to enter to win in my $100 Amazon gift card giveaway, just be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. And of course, I will keep you guys completely notified of everything jailbreak related, especially concerning the Evader's upcoming untethered jailbreak for iOS 7 through 7.0.4, which will support all devices, not just the iPhone 4. So of course, be sure to stay tuned. I will create the first tutorial once their utility is officially released, and I'll also have numerous update videos along the way, letting you guys know their progress. And to be updated more often, like when I release new jailbreak related videos, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.